Alrighty guys, we're gonna be ranking some Arnott's Biscuits. Obviously something a little bit different to what I usually do on the channel, but considering it's off-season, the uh, the content is gonna be switched up a little bit. So I might be upload like a, one of these sort of videos every week, like a different video to the normal AFL content. And uh, as you can see, I've got some biscuits alongside me. So not only are we gonna be ranking Arnott's Biscuits, but we're also gonna be trying some that I haven't tried before, but obviously not every single one because you know, I'm not spending 50 bucks on biscuits. Who do you think I am? So what I do have is uh, Family Assorted. The assorted creams. We've got a uh, caramel crown. I don't think I've ever had these. That's why I picked them out. I don't think I've had these either. Raspberry shortcakes, and then royals. So we've got the tiers. S would be best of the best. So essentially the best out of the lot. A would be very good. You know I would go out of my way and buy them. They're up there with the better ones. B is just good. It's good. I, I might buy it. I might not. C is average. I, I wouldn't go out of my way and buy them. In fact, even if they were just in front of me, I'd consider maybe having them or not. And D. Essentially just bad. I, I wouldn't have it at all. Hundreds and thousands. Um, now, I wouldn't go out of my way and buy these, I don't think. But they are good. I, I reckon almost A for now. I might bump it down a little bit. Arno shortbread. I think this is just uh, the regular just shortbread cookies. I'm probably just going to go in good. A bit, bit plain. Uh, Kingston cookies. Well, I've got one here. I haven't had one of these in a while. Mm. It's all right. Probably wouldn't go out of my way and buy it. It's a bit plain. I'm probably going to put it below the uh, shortbread. Um, Monte Carlo. All right, we'll give Monte Carlo one a try. Mm. Yeah, it's all right. Probably, I reckon that's definitely better than Kingston. I'll chuck it above the Arno shortbread. Probably, probably wouldn't put in very good. I'd actually put Kingston in average, to be fair. All right, next up we've got, literally it just says nice, which is like uh, pretty much sugared biscuits. Something you'd have at, well, something I'd get like it when they used to have the church stalls where they would have uh, all the biscuits out. Um, I mean, again, all right. Probably put it above the shortbread. Quite plain though. Teddy bear biscuits, these are good. These are good. They're not as good as the other chocolate biscuits that I'll go over a bit later on, but I'm, I'm probably gonna chuck it in very good, I reckon, above the uh, short, th this one. Mint slice. I reckon mint slice has got to be up there. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like mint and chocolate is a really good combination. And I think it's quite underrated. You can hate on me if you want in the comment section below, but I, I reckon mint and chocolate is quite underrated. It's almost S in S best the best, but if we're going to just put one in best the best, I don't think we'll chuck it there. Mint slice are definitely in very good. Delta cream. So we got one of them here. Let's give it a, a try. It's essentially just an Oreo, like a bit of an off-brand Oreo. Maybe check above the nice, to be fair. Geez, a lot of them are good. A lot of these ones that I've tried in are in good. I might have to, you know, be a bit, little bit more harsh. All right, custard creams. They're all right. I'm all chugging the end of good. They're not bad. They're not bad at all. All right, next up, we've got orange slice. I'm not the biggest fan of oranges when you uh, mix them with confectionery or any lollies or biscuits like that. So, give it a try. It's not bad. It's not bad, but I'll probably chuck it. I'm probably gonna chuck an average, and I'll also bring down Kingston an average. It's just quite dry. Like, it's not terrible, it's just dry, and I, I probably wouldn't have that um, very often. Ice Vovo, they're, they're quite a classic, but I'm not the biggest fan of coconut and jam. I think that's what's on an Ice Vovo. I'm not the biggest fan. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. I'll, I'll probably chuck it end of good. Um, maybe above the shortbread, but I, I probably wouldn't have too many of those. Tiny Teddies, I've chucked these in. I know they're not proper biscuits, but. Who didn't have tiny teas as a kid? These were a cl classic, they're an icon. I mean, I'll put them in very good. I'll probably chuck them below the, uh, this one, the shortbread, whatever you call it, or the uh, hundreds and thousands. Alrighty, next up we've got lemon crisps. Now, my mum used to buy these a lot back in the day. I don't know why she'd buy these ones in particular, and they weren't bad, but they just had a weird aftertaste, these lemon crisps. So, I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way and buy them, but they weren't bad. I, I, I feel like it'd be banging my average Bang in the middle of average. I reckon um, above the ice vovos. And this one is plain Jane. Uh, I think they're they're called Marys. We'll give it we'll give it a try. We've got one right here. It's literally just a rounded cookie. Like you couldn't get more more of a grandma style cookie than this. I mean, it's the plainest biscuit you'll ever touch. I mean, look if we're gonna rank it on if I'd ever buy it, I'm not going out of my way and buying those. That's for sure. I'm just going to have to put an average. I reckon bottom of average. It's just too plain. 
Now, speaking of two plain again, these one, milk co coffees. What, what difference will this be uh, to the other ones? Literally no difference. It's just that this one is shaped in a weird, you know, rectangle, whilst the other one's shaped in an oval. So, again, it's just too plain. I'll put, I'll put above Mary's, though. Next up, we've got a butternut, butternut snap cookie. Now, I don't remember actually ever having one of these. Butternut snap. They look quite dry, as you can see. They look like a an Anzac biscuit, almost. Let me have it a try. They taste very similar to an Anzac Day biscuit, and I don't hate Anzac Day biscuits, but they're just really dry, and they're not... They're not great, I'll be honest with you. They're not great. I might chuck it average. Chuck Ripple. Another cookie biscuit that's quite dry in itself, but it's going to get bonus points. Because of the other uh, fact that um, there's a thing called Chock Ripple Cakes and they're fucking elite. So Chock Choc Ripple Cakes, my grandma would make them for Christmas and they would be so bloody good. The biscuit itself isn't bad. I, I don't mind because it's chocolate. I'll probably chuck it around here. But I'm going to chuck it above the Delta Creams. Might be a little bit controversial, but I think that's how we're going to uh, roll with it. Raspberry Shortcakes. Now this is going to be interesting. I've never had one of these, so... um. I do, I have brought um, the raspberry creams alongside me, so this is what one of them looks like. I feel like I've had one of these. Let's, let's give it a, a taste. I'm not the biggest fan of jam. I like jam on toast, but like jam and biscuits, I'm not the biggest fan of. It's still good, but I'm going to put it below Ice Vovo. Ginger nut, I don't like ginger that much at all, so we're going to chuck it here. At the end, I reckon. I'm not a big massive fan. Royals, like another one that I've got, so let's give this one a try. It looks pretty nice. It looks like a snowdrop. Mmm, okay. It's like a raspberry marshmallow. Look at this. I've never had one of these. Mmm. Interesting consistency. Mmm. I reckon it's better than the shortcake, but only because it's chocolate. But it's quite similar to the shortcake. I'm going to put it above the ice vovos. I'm going to get fat with all these uh, biscuits. Alright, Scotch Finger. I've had it before. I'll have a small bite. It's like the This is almost the classic Arnott biscuit. The Scotch Finger. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's pretty good. It's better, I'm not going to put an average, it's pretty good. I'm going to chuck it around where the nice one is. But it's still quite plain. But I don't mind it. Um, Alright, shortbread cream. These are almost S tier. Yeah, they're, they're good. A biscuit with cream inside, you can't go wrong with that. I'm going to chuck it. I'm going to chuck it below mint slice. I'm going to chuck it below mint slice. And it's teddy bear again. I mean, as you can see, it's just a plain teddy bear biscuit. Like, what the hell is this? It's the worst version of the chocolate one. I mean, to be fair, most of these ones are quite plain. Actually. The, 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 uh, the biscuits you get in this, I mean, they're for grannies. And luckily it's cup day tomorrow, so my grandparents can have, they can indulge in that. But teddy bears, again, yeah, not my cup of tea, even though you're meant to put them in cup of teas. Now, TikToks. Back in the day when someone referred to a TikTok, they referred to the clock or this biscuit. Nowadays, that's a whole new meaning, TikTok. Um, the TikTok biscuits, they're good. And they're, they're kind of fun. You know, they, they've got clocks with shapes on them. They remind me a lot of these uh, hundreds of thousands, but I think they're not as good. So I'll check them here. Now, Tim Tams have got to be S. I think, as a whole, the Tim Tam is the best biscuit by Arnott's and probably the best biscuit ever. You can't go wrong with a, 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 an Arnott's uh, Tim Tam. You really can't. Tina Wafer. I don't have these often, but they're, they're really good, actually, to be fair. They've got wafers and cream. Again, you can't go wrong. It's going to be an A's. I'm going to chuck it above the hundred thousands. And then Wagon Wheels. They're all right, but I said before, I'm not the biggest fan of jam, so that's going to take it down to above the Choc Ripple. Above the Choc Ripple. And then these ones, Caramel Crowns. I don't know why they're not on the list, but I want to try one of them, so... Let's have an imaginary list for these caramel crowns. These are good, actually. Bloody hell. Alright, that's definitely the best one of the uh, biscuits I've tried. I'll probably chuck it around the very good... Below the um, 
wafers. I reckon we chuck this in bad. I just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a fan of ginger nut, to be completely honest. So I'll chuck it there. Maybe um, the raspberry shortcake in average. Wasn't the biggest fan of the raspberry shortcake. And I probably have that as my list. Maybe chuck shortbread cream into very good, but that's probably it. I mean, it's a little bit hard to, to do this when there are that many biscuits and when the fact that you've tried a whole variety of them. Uh, let me know down below what you reckon the best biscuit is, uh, if you had your own little ranking for the Arnix biscuits. So hopefully it does well. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Let's get the video to 400 likes. But uh, yeah, I reckon that concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you soon in my next video.